We are long overdue for some factory footage. What's up, I'm Rob from FLX, and this is your Baby Maker production update of the week. We do have a lot of factory footage to share with you. Over the past month from Facility One in China, we'll be getting into that in just a moment. But just a reminder, we do have a live tomorrow, June 16th at 2 p.m. PDT. If you got any questions about the Baby Maker, tweaks you wanna make to it or meet the team, please join us for the live tomorrow, 2 p.m. So let's get right into the factory footage. Again, this is from Facility One in China where the majority of our Baby Makers are being built. So here we've got some Sterling Baby Maker Pros on the line. Some of those almost completely assembled, just missing that seat there, ready for packaging. That's something, by the way, that is added on the final step of packaging. Some Baby Makers boxed up here, lots of straps. Typically, you might see two straps or three on these boxes, but we just want to get as many straps as possible to really keep it together because sometimes they can break when being handled by the carriers. All right, here we've got a few standards. Looks like blue raspberry standards and some pros as well. And by the way, there have been a few questions regarding the blue raspberry color as some people have been seeing different shades of those. As we do have three factories producing the baby makers, two factories painting them, both with different access to color palettes, etc., but not the shared color palette. The blue raspberry tints are a little bit different from each factory, so it's kind of up to luck of the draw depending on which one you get, but both beautiful in my opinion. All right, here are some Tangerine Baby Maker Pros on the line. Again, pros represent 80% plus of all the Baby Maker orders, so that's why you see those mostly in the footage. It's not like we're producing one first and then the other. It's just kind of in line with how they're ordered, produce one batch at a time. Most of them end up being pros. Here, do some wiring, working on the rear brake back here. More wiring. And some berry colored pros here, that nice pink. Still my favorite color out of all these. And that's a sweet image looking down the front triangle of some Tangerine Berry Baby Makers. The Gates Carbon Belt Drive on a Tangerine Pro. More front triangles. We've got Tangerine and Berry back there. More Tangerine and Berry. These look like 19s, the berries here, 19 inch frames. Here's more of a zoomed out view of what's going on. So these bikes that are already completely built, they do undergo inspection, some final tweaks and tuning. So they are inspected, make sure everything is up to spec. If there's any issues, it will be tagged off. Uh, say for example, a light brake rub, then a technician will come and address that before it's packaged and shipped. Tightening up the stem. And now we see some bikes here getting ready for packaging at the end here. This is the packaging area. So this is where the handlebars are taken off. The packaging is installed, all the you know styrofoam, cardboard, packed up nice and tight, popped in these boxes and sealed. Here these lovely ladies are preparing the toolkit. So those will have the charger, some tools to install, various accessories. Another look down, uh, we've got Barry, Kiwi, matte black and sterling frames here. Some matte black baby makers just beginning their journey on the line here. So you'll see they've got the gates chain ring installed. Now the rear wheel kind of as it goes along. The batteries there on the conveyor belt, those will be installed soon. Kickstand is on, cranks are on. The smaller tube there on the conveyor belt, that's the controller. Handlebars here. All right, here we can see a battery being inserted in that down tube. Very cool. Yeah, just some wire management on that battery. Here are some completed matte black Baby Maker Pro dropper bars in 23 inch size. You can tell from the angle of the top tube which size they are, by the way. And some Kiwi Baby Maker Pros here on the line. Here are bikes that have been boxed up and sealed on the right, not sealed on the left. More completed Baby Makers. Some Kiwi 23 inch standards here. Matte black Baby Maker Pros on the line. Here we've got the wheels for some Pros. And look at all these Baby Makers, beautiful Baby Makers assembled just about ready to go. We've been moving a lot of baby makers from this facility this month and have a couple containers. I'll talk about those in the global status update here shortly. But as you can see, pretty much every color here, we saw some blues earlier, different sizes as well. We've got some 23, green 23, black 19s, tangerine 19s, good healthy range of colors. Good mix of Kiwi 19s and 23s, 
Sterling, 19s, Kiwi, Matt Black, Kiwi, Matt Black, Tangerine, Kiwi, Matt Black, Berry, Sterling. Pick a color, any color. And uh, and these bikes are getting the packaging installed, the styrofoam handlebars off on this one, just about ready to be boxed up. So this footage, by the way, has been taken over the span of about a month. It's in no particular order here. Sorry if it seems like we're jumping around a bit here, packaging these bikes. And look at that, these are all loaded up in the boxes, just need to be stapled shut, you know, add everything that needs to go in there, staple them shut, strap them and load them in the container. Now these bikes are going through the strapping machine, really cool there. I've always wanted to go through that myself, it might hurt, but anything for science. Those straps do a really good job of keeping that box together and preventing it from, if for any reason it gets dropped, et cetera, preventing it from breaking open. Here weighing the completed Baby Maker, 27 kilos in the box with all the packaging, 59 pounds in the box. That's a lot less than many complete e-bikes weigh out of the box. And there you go, a lineup of Baby Makers ready to go. So that's all the factory footage I've got for today. Super exciting. Again, this is about a month worth of footage. So a lot of bikes have moved out in that time. And let's get into the global status update where we can tell you more about these shipments. So we're starting in the US with C19. That has shipped and the tracking has been uploaded. 54 baby makers, 825 touring packages. Last week, by the way, I did have a bit of a miscommunication in the update regarding T61 and T62. We did have a miscommunication. I was misinformed. I said they had shipped out. They had not shipped at that time. They were being prepared for shipping. But this week, both of those have shipped. T61 completely shipped. That's 225 baby makers and all the tracking has been uploaded. T6-2, most of those have shipped, all but 85 of those will be uploading the remaining 85 tracking numbers this week. C20, the OOCL London, that has shipped, tracking was uploaded, that was 57 baby makers, 86 trails, and some touring packages. The touring packages have not shipped yet, they are shipping very soon. C21, the SM Ningbo is still ETA 615, which is today if you're watching this on Tuesday. That's 189 baby makers plus 220 touring packages, including the much requested Sterling Pro 19 kits, which will be the first time those are sent. T7-1, which had 225 baby makers on the Costco Taitong. That ship has birthed. It's awaiting customs clearance and then transfer to FedEx. T7-2, 225 baby makers on the OOCL Luxembourg. That got stuck in China for a while. So that originally was June 14th ETA Long Beach. Now it's probably gonna be a couple more weeks to get here. It's just left the Shenzhen area of China, I believe on its way over here. So we'll keep you posted on that one. Unfortunately, a little slow down on that ship. T7-3, same status as T7-2, as those are on the same boat and that's 225 baby makers. C22 on the CSCL South China Sea, that's ETA Long Beach of June 15th, 222 baby makers. And right now, this is Monday, my time, it's passing just off the coast of San Luis Obispo, so well on its way. C23, that's a new shipment, 221 baby makers on it. Those are completely built and we're awaiting the ship in China for those, so we'll keep you posted once it gets on the ship. C24, another new shipment from Facility One in China. That's 202 baby makers. They are almost finished being building and we're awaiting the final build and ship on those. T8 from Facility Two in China. That is ETD June 15th, which is today on Tuesday. That will be on the NYK Themis, T-H-E-M-I-S. 140 baby makers and it is the last shipment from our facility to in china they have completed our order of baby makers so super exciting we're getting to the end of this thing for alaska and hawaii we've got eight more bikes shipping to hawaii from c20 t71 and t72 when those arrive and then six more from c23 c24 when those arrive and those will be the last of the Hawaii bikes. Alaska, we've got five more bikes to ship from T71, T72, and four more in C23. Those, again, are the last of the Alaska bikes. It finishes those out for Alaska and Hawaii. Super exciting there. All right, let's move on to Europe, EU, UK. 
UK2, we received the last VAT payment for a bike that we were waiting on. So all bikes have shipped from UK2. NL4, which is 129 baby makers, those arrived June 2nd. Still waiting on the carrier. We're finalizing things with FedEx, a little slowdown there. Uh, same status as last week. So little bottleneck at the UK warehouse where we're just waiting on carriers to be able to bring those bikes back into Europe. UK3, we're waiting VAT payment for some of those bikes. 77 have shipped so far, 12 are shipping today, and we await VAT payment for the remaining bikes. If you haven't paid your VAT in UK yet for UK3, you'll need to do that so the bike can ship. SP8 has arrived at the UK warehouse. VAT letters will be sent tomorrow for the UK. That's 144 baby makers. SP9, 144 bikes. Those are being packed right now and shipping on June 17th. Those are mostly Pro 23 Green Uppers and Pro 23 Sterling Uppers. If you've been waiting on those, hopefully there's a good chance yours is in that shipment for EU, UK. SP10 Spain 10 is in progress. That's 144 baby makers with target shipping next week. The next shipment of components to Spain C13. We are awaiting shipment info on that. We'll keep you posted next week. Moving on to LVL. Last week we mentioned we were almost completely done with those, except for a handful of hard to ship to locations there. So we'll continue work on that and be emailing you individually if your LVL bike has not shipped yet or we need something new from you. So please check your emails from us, shipping at flx.bike if you are in an LVL and haven't received the bike yet. Moving on to the challenge section. Same as last week, the bottlenecking in the UK, just due to carriers coming back into Europe, we thought we would be finalized with FedEx by now. A little challenge there with the account number, using it from the warehouse, some uh, administrative things to deal with, but round a third base on that. So hopefully should have an update for you guys next week on that. Apologies for the slowdown there. Bikes are still being built in the meantime. It's just a matter now of signing the paperwork and getting those things moving from the UK. So once those floodgates open, we'll see a lot of bikes moving back into Europe. All right, that's everything I've got for this week's production update. Thanks so much for tuning in. I know it's a longer update. If you've got the bike already, please ride safe. If you're waiting on it, thanks for your patience. It will be well worth the wait. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.